The Fallout series has seen many highs and lows throughout its life, from its roots as a classic turn-based RPG to its modern Bethesda interpretation. Throughout these changes, one thing has remained constant. Fallout modders have consistently pushed the boundary and given up countless hours of their time to bring fans more content. Over the years, Fallout has been a breeding ground for fan games and projects like this. In my previous video, we discussed some of these projects, however, as many of you pointed out, our scope was limited to Fallout 4. In today's video, we will be diving even deeper and taking a look at some of the best fan games of the series, from a project that allows you to experience classic Fallout in 3D, to a passion project that took over 10 years. So with all that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For many of us, Fallout 2 is one of, if not our favorite game in the series. Released in 1998, Fallout 2 would take the best parts of the original, expand them, and live up to be a truly worthy successor. As love for the game grew, its fans were craving more content. Luckily for the fans, the official modding editor and script documentation were released to the public in 2003. In response to this release, a Sheck team of four would be inspired to release their own contribution to the series. Fallout 1.5 Resurrection would be a completely new experience for fans created for Fallout 2. Set in what once was New Mexico, the developers set ambitious goals, and as a result, the project scope and plot were ever-changing and shifting. Despite the developers admitting they had vastly underestimated the project, they would stay strong and continue development. Roughly 10 years after development had begun, in 2013 the mod was released to his native Sheck audience. The mod was met with very positive reviews, earning a 6th place finish for Game of the Year at Bonus Web. Three years after its release in 2016, an official English version was released contributing to its growing popularity. Fans of the classic Fallout titles particularly were drawn to this project, as in 2008, Bethesda had released Fallout 3. Regardless of one's opinion on Fallout 3, it's undeniable that Bethesda had made extreme changes to the series. Fallout 1.5 was seen as a resurrection of the classic Fallout experience. With over 25 hours of gameplay and a story that really hits the dark atmosphere of the classics, I can't suggest this to anyone who hasn't played it already enough. For those of you who are looking to play this amazing mod, I've linked it in the description and you can find it on their official website. Developed and released by Russian team Nevada Band in 2011, Fallout Nevada is a fan-made prequel of the original Fallout game. Although its initial release in 2011 was localized and limited to small user pools, by 2015, version 1.0 was released and included an official English patch. Set in the territory of Nevada before the original game, the main character, a dweller of Vault 8, is set out on an unexpected quest. With over 100 quests to explore and a complete main story, Fallout Nevada is an amazing experience for any fan of the classic Fallouts. Not only is the game faithful to the original, its environment and music are exceptional. The game contains several iconic locations from the states of Nevada and Utah. These locations, paired with the awesome dark soundtrack composed by Alexei Trofimov, results in an awesome experience. Although the gameplay can be a bit difficult, and some of the English translations get a little funky, the sheer amount of gameplay and enjoyment you'll find vastly outweighs its small hiccups. Developed by the same team, Nevada Band would release Fallout Sonora locally in 2020 with English patches following in 2023. Using the experience the team gathered while developing Nevada, Fallout Sonora is extremely impressive in scale for a fan game. Taking place in southwestern United States and northwestern Mexican territories, Fallout Sonora is an awesome chance for fans to explore wastelands outside of the US. Not only do you get the same dedication to the classic Fallout experience, but the theme and environment are entirely new to the series. Given the rough nature of the Sonoran Desert, the world space gives similar vibes to the world space in the Red Dead series. Once you finish the 30 plus hours of new content, you aren't done though yet. Nevada Band recently released a full DLC for Sonora set in San Diego. The DLC is called Dayglow and was released in late 2023. Although there is no official English patch yet, 
there are some unofficial ones. Fallout Sonora and its predecessor Nevada are truly amazing achievements and I commend the team for their continued dedication to the classic Fallout fanbase. As always, I'll have the downloads in the description so you can pick it up for yourself. Like myself, I'm sure many of you have dreamed of experiencing the classic Fallout games in a 3D environment. Regardless of how you feel about the new gameplay, the world spaces are stunning to explore. Luckily for us, a true hero put in the work and has been developing a complete remake of Fallout 2 in 3D. Released to early access in 2022, Jonas O oh spent the last three years refining this project. Although the project is still in development, its latest release is full of content including quests, places to explore, and things to fight. What started as a test level with combat scripts has transformed into a full-fledged game, and to this day he is still adding content. Fallout 2 3D combines the classic features of Fallout with the gameplay style similar to Doom and even early RPGs like Morrowind. This project is an awesome choice for anyone who loves to explore the wastelands of the Fallout series. Make sure to check out Jonah's YouTube channel as he frequently is posting new updates and deserves all the support we can give him. There are countless locations fans have craved to see in a Fallout game. One of the most popular is the Silicon Valley region. Released in 2014 by a team of three, Olympus 2207 is a total conversion mod for Fallout 2, bringing a new story, gameplay additions, and a unique world space. Devastated and cut off from the world by the Great War, the Silicon Valley region fell into chaos. For its inhabitants, their only hope for refuge was a massive fortress called Olympus, which sat like a beacon amongst the waste. Although Olympus 2207 is native to Russian, an official English version is available on their website. Hats off to the team of Olympus 2207 because they really put together something amazing here. Not only does it nail the classic Fallout vibes, but it also brings plenty of its own ideas. I really enjoyed the world space and factions in this one, and the ominous almost religion reputation Olympus holds is extremely well written. I will leave the download link to this project in the description as well as the developer's YouTube channel. I would really appreciate if you went and gave them some love after this video. Before we wrap up this video, I wanted to give you all my personal tier list for the games that we covered today. It was hard for me to make this list because the reality is I love all five of these projects. That being said, nothing on this list is really bad, it's more of my top five in order. I would love to hear how you would all rank them in the description below, and now let's get on with it. Coming in at number five, I have Fallout 2 3D. This project is extremely ambitious and the ground the developer has already covered is extremely impressive. That being said, it is the only one out of the five that is still in development. Although the other projects had way more time to be developed, if you are looking for a complete game, you will not find it here. Regardless of that, it is still extremely fun to play, and I can't wait to see its progress. Following that, at number 4, I have Fallout Nevada. Now there's a lot of things I really like about this game, including its world space, however, it was Nevada Band's first release and there are some areas I feel are unpolished. The start of the game feels uninspired compared to Sonora, and there are times that the English gets a little bit rough. I know that this is not the developer's fault as the game was developed in Russia, however in my personal playthrough this did affect me. Regardless of this, Nevada brings a challenging and fun experience to fans of classic Fallouts. Next up at number 3, I have Fallout Sonora. Being the successor to Nevada, Sonora feels quite a bit more polished and refined. I really enjoyed the world space and although it was fun to see the same locations in Nevada, the fresh setting in Sonora was really enjoyable, and the new graphics complemented it well. My primary concern with this game is the simplified culture of the region. Although I strongly believe developers should be able to freely pull inspiration from anywhere, the factions and areas sometimes felt a bit shallow. I would not call it bad, just not as inspired as it could be. Standing at number 2, I have Fallout Olympus 2207. I am a big fan of the occult as well as the study of religion in general, and the world space, characters, and factions of this game really carry it for me. Olympus stands like an ominous shadow ever present in your journey, and I really like how each group reacts to its presence differently. While some people view it simply as a resource or a location for safe harbor, others religiously seek it out like an entrance to the heavens. I can't recommend this mod to you all enough. Finally, at number 1, I have Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. This mod is legendary. 
After the mixed release of Fallout 3, 1.5 gave OG fans an answer to their cravings. So many future mods would be inspired by it, and the dedication from its team was inspiring. One of the reasons it sits at number one for me is because in my opinion it has the strongest main story out of them all. Not to say that any of the other mods had bad stories by any means, however in my playthrough of this game I found myself completely glued to the story unlike any other fan game. If you have not checked it out, I can't recommend it enough. Developing a mod for any game is a difficult challenge. Developing an entire game using another team's set of tools is a whole nother level. The level of dedication, creativity, and adaptability required is not easily achieved. Seeing fan games like the ones we covered today are one of the things that make me proud to be a Fallout fan, and I commend all the developers, supporters, and players who made these possible. If you found any of the projects I mentioned interesting, I would be happy if you showed the developers some love and gave it a play. I will have all of the links in the description so you can easily find what you need. Thank you my friends for watching this video. I hope you learned something and if you did feel free to drop a like. If you want to see more content like this around Fallout and other RPGs, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate the feedback and discussions that were in the last video. Seeing so much passion around these games is one of the reasons I like to make these videos. I hope you all live well and I'll see you in the next video.